Well, emergency crews down the shore have been preparing for Elsa for days. Joining us now live is Atlantic City's fire chief, Scott Evans, who's also the director of the emergency management services there. Good morning, Chief Evans. Good to have you with us. So the storm passing through now. Tell us what the conditions have been like there in Atlantic City. Yes, hi, hi good morning. Um, Atlantic City, we've been very fortunate. Elsa came through kind of quick for us. Um, so we're, we're happy and respect that it came through with low tide. Um, with those heavy rains. So the city was able to uh, drain pretty fast. Uh, unfortunately, the, the winds uh, the winds have created some problems. Uh, we're seeing the typical damage from high winds with you know, the leaves, the trees, uh, trash cans blown over, uh, some typical, uh, I've seen a, a residential flagpole blown over. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the typical damage that we see from high winds, but uh, so far nothing major has been, uh, you know, has been reported. So. Um, it's not bad. So one of the, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. No, so Chief, uh, one big concern, obviously, uh, with the winds and these rip currents. I mean, are you concerned about people may try to jump out into the water and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, see what's going on out there right now? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, there is still a lot of turbulence in the ocean, which I'm looking at now. Um, it, it, it is beautiful. You know, we still have some big waves, but uh, yeah, we're expecting to have rip currents for the next couple of days. So. Uh, you know, lifeguards will be out early, and uh, it'll be, um, you know, probably up to knee high, if not less, swimming conditions for today. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, and we saw somebody out on a paddleboard out there just a short time ago. Lifeguards not yet on duty. So, as we always tell everybody, especially with these rough conditions in the water, you want to make sure you don't get in unless a lifeguard is on duty for your own protection and for theirs as well, because they don't want to have to jump in there and rescue when the conditions aren't great. So. Chief Scott Evans from Atlantic City's Fire Department, appreciate your time. Stay safe out there and continue to give us any updates as you get them. Great, thank you. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Now